How are you feeling, honey? Ah, uh, I'm stuffed. <laughs> if you want to see what the four of us get up to this time, well, it's about to start. Grab your popcorn. Welcome to another vlog. After some false starts, it's finally time to escape. Load up and get back on the road. Is it really that easy? So join Wayne, Scott, Ollie and Oscar on our adventures in Harvey and stick around to see what happens this time. It's only roadworks that could slow us down, but for a normal Monday morning, no school holidays, no public events, the traffic was a bit thick. And it didn't help that our GPS decided to take us around a few back streets behind Dalesford. But then again, if it wasn't for our GPS, we'd never have seen this turn. It wasn't well signposted. The gems are always hidden. Hey guys, and welcome back. It's been a fair while since we picked up the camera. Uh, life happens and last week we planned this trip to start then as well but a few things got in the way and then the weather got in the way so as you've been as you've known if you've been following it the eastern seaboard of australia has copped a fair chunk of wet weather uh, most of victoria saw a fair bit i think they said it was about 75 to 100 mil over the last weekend so we were planning on coming last monday then we were planning on starting this on friday but the weather got in the way so we're here. It's a beautiful sunny day and we've driven two hours uh, from us and we've landed here at Mount Franklin. This is a reserve. It's national parks but it's dog friendly uh, and it's free as well. And as you can see, there's a few campers here. This guy's just turned up. So it's a beautiful day and Wayne, if I can find him over my shoulder, where is he? There he is. He has cracked out his new machine. He is now on the hunt for some precious treasures because he's bought himself a metal detector. There's Oscar. Hi. Hi. Say hi to the people. Hi, Oscar. Don't lick the door. And there's his brother, Oggy. So they are with us. So we're just gonna chillax and maybe take the dogs for a walk. We'll pick you up soon. What have we done? <laughs> Look what's in front of us. Whoops. Up there. Looks like soon we can catch our breath and sit down for a second. Well, it looks like we've found the proper trail that we're meant to be on after our little hill climbing, bush bashing exercise at a quite a severe degree. How are you feeling, honey? Ah, uh, I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this looks a little bit more easier. So now, while we catch our breath, we'll just enjoy the walk. The puppies are leading the way. The track itself has seen a little bit of wear and tear from the heavy rains. There's a lot of rutting and there's a lot of wash away, which makes it quite narrow. No wonder we didn't see the signs. At least we know where the track could be. Oh. Is that us there? That's us there.
know the steak is going up. <laughs> Good one, Oscar. I'm sure you sort of lose the fact it wasn't very good. So We just went straight up there. <laughs> Careful. Little steps, little steps. Right, well, we're back. It's been about half an hour since we've had our kamikaze walk up Mount Franklin. But the puppies are still exhausted. Just check this out. Oscar is asleep. Oscar is asleep. The sun is absolutely beautiful. So we're just going to sit here enjoying this beautiful afternoon sun and the warmth that's left. And Wayne is just popping on the kettle of the coffee. Good morning channel. So we've had a wonderful peaceful night up at Mount Franklin and the sun is shining yet again. We had a bit of a late sleep in today. So it's now just after 11, but we had breakfast and our peace and quiet was only punctured by the council coming to cut the grass with their whip snippers and everything, which made the dogs a little bit anxious. So we thought it was time to get on the road so Wayne's doing a fantastic job as always driving. I'll let him concentrate. But yeah, it's a beautiful sunny day. It's going to apparently hit 22, which is amazing considering we've just had a whole band of rain come through. But in saying that, there's still uh, flood warnings and they're saying that we're gonna get a lot more rain come uh, Wednesday night into Thursday. So we'll see how we go. Um, we're planning on going a little bit further west again today you might recognize some of the scenery I won't let out the secret just yet but follow us along and see where we go ABC News, good afternoon, I'm Melissa Polamini. Emergency services say the biggest threat to metropolitan Melbourne is flash flooding as they prepare for significant rainfall and damaging winds over the coming days. Minor to moderate flooding is expected in Melbourne starting Wednesday, with the worst of the weather to hit from Thursday. Well, we're just a little bit stuck. I did some walks and it felt fine to me, but you know, we have had a lot of rain and the ground would probably be soft. So we've called uh, the caretakers to see if they can pull us out. Wayne's taken the kids for a walk because he's a little bit stressed by it. But it is what it is. Let's see what happens. Here they come, puppies. Oscar. Hello. No, no phone call yet. Come on. Hello. Hey, so we've arrived here now at the stall Grampians Gateway Caravan Park. Bit of a mouthful, but they're pet friendly. It's nice, high and dry. There's gravel. We're all connected up to the grid, as you can see behind me. Got our water connection, got our power connection. So. Last night was great and it was quite dry there. But again, there's still lots of uh, weather reports of extra rain coming through. And so 
on our way here, we thought we'd stop off at the Great Western Racecourse, our good old favourite, um, and have a little bit of a look because we thought we knew better. But yeah, there'd been so much rain that as you could see, we got a little bit stuck. So luckily, a local was visiting someone in his big F250, so he managed to put a snatch strap on and pull us out. We were ever so grateful because we had rung roadside assist, but again, it was going to be maybe 90 minutes to two hours. So yeah, so he pulled us out and we thought, well, we won't stay because there was really nothing left on the high side. Most of them had been taken for power and there was only low side, which is quite sandy. And so we thought we'd come up here again, back to our original choice. It's five minutes up the road. It's a CMCA listed park. Um, but yeah, we have a beautiful little creek running behind us over here. There's plenty of bird life. There's a little water body or lake just there. So Wayne's just getting ready with the puppies. We're gonna take them for a bit of a walk and explore. We'll catch up with you later. Water hazard, no swimming. All children must be accompanied by an adult or parent. It's very sick with yeah. Looks like it's always like a weir, looks like it's always running because there's actually like grass. Too many temptations here for a real run, so we decided to turn around head back into the RV park and search for a doggy area yep. the manager told us about when we first checked in. Well, we attempted to take the dogs to the off-leash area, but there's some... We just got attacked by bloody plovers. <laughs> protecting their eggs. There's some plovers protecting their eggs and dive bombing us, so we thought we'd best give, oh, it, a give it a miss. And we'll just head back. To Harvey, maybe pop the TV on, have a bit of a rest. This is wonderful. Well, it looks like we might be cutting this trip short. What do you think, husband? Oh well. We'll see what tonight brings. Looks like we might be heading home tomorrow. But snuggle in for a nice night and a bit of a relax after today. We'll catch you tomorrow. Being as we left the Great Western in a rush yesterday, we decided to stop and have a look around. Right, so after watching last night's weather report and all the consistent uh, weather warnings on the radio this morning telling you when and where this rain bomb will be hitting us, we've decided to cut our brief trip away short by one day and we're heading home. We've got about three hours in front of us of driving 
and when we were coming this way yesterday the roads were just horrible with all the recent rains we've had and the amount of heavy vehicles and trucks that travel this freeway there's just potholes galore so yesterday we ended up traveling just a little bit under about 80 rather than the 110 so it may make the trip longer let's just see how we go today Only one hour down the road, we stretched our legs and grabbed some caffeine to keep us going. We soon found the roads, although patched still were far from smooth. The clouds and rain is building. Check out that rain heading towards us. Hey guys, so yeah, we've been home a little while, long enough to reverse Harvey back up into his spot, empty the cupboards and just flush the grey water. But we started to get a little bit heavier in the rain, as you can see. It's not the full blown rain bomb yet, but we're glad we made the decision when we did to come home. Because as you know, um, even though we could probably try and skirt it, um, we don't really want to get bogged and we don't really want to be stuck inside a motor home with it pouring rain and nothing to do except um, entertain yourself with the TV, etc. because you can't get out and explore. Anyway, that's another story. So we'll leave that for next time that we're out on the road. So we'll see you then. Bye. <laughs> So you would have seen the traffic. Okay. Let's just stop that.